New, 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 oh, 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 I feel so unsure, taking you on the dance floor. As the music dies, there's a silver look in your eye. So I'm never gonna dance again. Guilty feet ain't got no rhythm. Though it's easy to pretend, I know you're not a fool. So I'm never gonna dance again. The way I dance with you New 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 In order those distractions Anyway it's your boy Pure Coverage Game Video with another video and today it is Movie News 69, and I figured I'd seen the song, Careless Whisper, by George Michael. And I still commemorate this. Well, wow, we've, like, we're like, this close, this, this close, this close, we're at the S of the this close, in the making 70 episodes, 70 different Fridays. That's crazy, huh? And, yeah, so it's 69, dudes. So let's start it off. Venom is not part of the MCU. Yeah, I could see that coming like a mile away. But okay. Avengers 3 passes 1 billion. Fuck yeah. That movie was good. Very emotional. And that cliffhanger, though. Don't worry, I'm not going to spoil it for any spoil it for anyone. There is no Spider-Man on Venom's chest. The spider logo on side of Venom's chest for the symbiote. There is nothing for that. At all. At all. At all. At all. <laughs> Sorry, I was just kind of like distracted there. So Luke Cage is going to have a second season. I honestly need to get caught up. There's going to be no black suit in the MCU. Honestly, I'm not surprised. Because of, you know, the whole Venom thing going on. And it's going to be very difficult considering that Eddie Brock is in his own thing. So I don't know if the black suit would even work, even if they were going to do it. Comcast might buy Fox. You know, we'll see. So... Every year, Lego Ideas go around and figure out, like, what the fans want to be made as an actual Lego set. And the two ones that I'm rooting for are the Flintstones set, because, you know, I want to have me a yabba do time. And MY MST3K. You know, Mystery Science Seer 3000? Yeah, they're making a Lego set off of that. And that's really cool. I hope they do the style life love. And yeah, that'd be awesome. There's a new FNAF... A new FNAF book on the way called The Fourth Door. Hmm, that's very interesting. Very, very interesting. I don't know about any of the plot description or anything like that. All it is called the fourth door, and it has fun time Freddy on it. There will be no hyper dinosaurs in Jurassic Park 3. They're going to be taking it back to the old school routes. And 
I like that. Like, I really like the way that the first Jurassic World and, like, the second one are doing. They're, make, they're, they're making it really serious again. But it's serious, but it's still not serious. It's still not scary enough to sell, to stop from selling toys. So it can still sell dinosaur toys out the ass. Shout out to Dude Trooper. Because he gets to straight up control cyborg dinosaurs, and that's cool. The Predator trailer came out, and it's it looks really neat. I really like how that's going down. So, yeah. Well, I mean, they got some cool bits and pieces of it. It's like, you know, the kid ends up finding the... The little predator thingy going on. It's it's weird and whatnot. But it's also cool. So I wonder how the, the, the thing of the, the plots of the film will go. There's, a, there's officially a new Power Rangers podcast. It's nice. There's not going to be a Defender Season 2 just yet. Just yet. I guess, yeah, because they got to build it up. It's like MCU. One, two. Let's see. One, 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 one. Moving. One, 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 one. Crossover. One. And then you got two, 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 two. Crossover. There are going to be subs at Legoland. That's really cool. I bet they're very interactive. Like, I heard you can actually... Like, I've seen... you. If you see it online, you can actually see that you actually go into into submarine, and there's actual water with Lego sets and everything inside of the water. And it's really awesome. There's a Lego Movie World coming... There's a Lego Movie World coming to Legoland... Look, okay, I love the Lego movie. It's a great animated film. It's, it's definitely on my top ten. It, it, fuck, it's number three. So at number one, Night Before Christmas. Number two, Shrek. And number three, the Lego movie. But I don't think Lego Movie World deserves its entire its own entire theme park, though. That's just me. Maybe a few rides on the side, but not necessarily an entire themed land. Speaking of IPs that could use theme park attractions. Speaking of, uh. Speaking of amusement parks or amusement park attractions that could, they could get IPs for, Rick and Morty is getting 70 more episodes. Can you feel it now, Mr. Phillips? No. Well, that happened. So, Rick and Morty's getting 70 more episodes. It's a lot of episodes. The new Star Wars show that's going to be directed by John Favio, the person of the first Iron Man in the Jungle Book film, is making a new live action Star Wars show set seven years 
after Return of the Jedi. That's pretty interesting. So, okay, so it's going to be new town. So, yeah, that's a 28 year gap now between The Return of the Jedi and The Force Awakens. Although I haven't seen The Last Jedi yet. I've seen all the Star Wars films except Last Jedi. Avengers 5 is going to happen. Oh, Avengers 5 is going to happen? Oh, yeah, I saw that. Also, that coming a mile away. I mean, it's build up. Cinematic universe. I mean, and considering that they're going to be having the Eternals and Nova. And Black Panther, and Doc Strange, and Spider-Man, and Spider-Man, whatever the other Spider-Man Homecoming films are going to be called. So I'm not, I'm not really, I'm not surprised overall. So they're going to be making some Lego, well, Jack and Sally Lego Brickheads. For all y'all who don't know, Lego Brickheads is basically Lego's version of the Funko Pop. So they're going to be making some Nightmare Before Christmas ones. Building Christmas, building Christmas, it's so fine. About damn time, we got some bricks based on on that skeleton and his tricks. We'll build it this time. For real though, I've, I've always thought it'd be cool to see Lego not ready for Christmas stuff. So, apparently, the Obi-Wan Kenobi spin-off film is going to be filming soon. And I always thought it'd be cool. Because, you know, he'd just be chilling up in Tatooine. He ain't gonna take no shit from no one. We could even see him be like, yo, Jabba, I'm gonna fuck your shit up. Obviously, I'm, a, I'm an original trilogy guy. But I do appreciate the prequels to a certain degree. I mean, I like the pod racing idea. Like pod racing, and Darth Maul was badass, and you know Grievous was cool, and Mace Windu was a badass motherfucker, as it says on his lightsaber. Snake Eyes is getting his own movie for the Hasbro Cinematic Universe. So we got G.I. Joe, Transformers, Mask, Rot, and Rob the Space Knight. And if they play their cards right, considering Hasbro now owns Power Rangers, they could even do Power Rangers in the, in the HCU. Man, one of these days, we should get our own cinematic universe, Mask YouTuber Society. And I'm like the main person. That would be awesome. And, according to Lloyd Coffin, James Gunn is not going to direct Toxie 5. Well, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect nothing less. I mean, most of the MCU directors are just directing MCU films. They're under contract, you know, specific films for specific times. Yeah. Well, that does it about here. People are holics and fans and viewers and subscribers. If you like this video... Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next video. Peep her out.